Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get custom user skins on War Thunder. Um, now, I used to do this a lot, but then I think they changed it. And then I couldn't do it, and I was really confused. But I think I figured it out. So let's try to go over this. So this is I. This is the regular F4S skin. I, I just put that decal on. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pretty much making, taking skins like this and putting them on. Which I think this one looks very clean. Um, so let's see how we do this. So we're going to use the F4U, F4U4 for the example. We'll pretty much do is, and this is for Mac, by the way. We're going to, um, we're just gonna hit the F3 button, which should have oh, like bring out the windows and then just have this closed. And then we'll have War Thunder Live. This is see, this is the skin that I got for the F4S. Thank you for thank you, Pro X. Um, and pretty much what you're gonna do is you're just gonna come up here, search up. The whatever the um not the name like the f4 s phantom don't put phantom just the designation so it's going to be f uh for you four and here we go we have the f for you four a bunch of different designs let's see which one do we want to choose doesn't need to be fancy this one, I like this one. We're gonna we're gonna use this one. So we're gonna download it. It's gonna take a minute. Um, but once that's finished, pretty much, um, while that's going, you can come in here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, left click on the aircraft, hit customize or uh, customization, and it'll say user skins. You're just gonna hit this. I already did it. But you're going to hit this, and then it's going to create a template. Here it is right here. You can go back, and then F3 again, back here. I think it's still downloading. You can see all the ones I've downloaded. So you can download multiple if you want more than just one. Like I could do this one or that one, and then just have different user skins so that I can switch them out whenever I like. Let's see, this one almost done. Yep, almost done here. Come on now. We're just going to open this up. We're gonna close that out. And then we're gonna come down to this. We're going to right click it, options, show and finder. Uh, op uh, Right click this, the War Thunder, show package contents, double left click contents, resources, game, and then you'll be all the way up here. You're going to scroll down until you see user skins. Um, open that up, and then we, you see we have so many different things. We're doing the F, F4U4, so we're going to look for that one. Open this up. We're going to come back over here, take this out. We can now close this, and we can just stick the file in there. Close that. Now, when you go back into War Thunder, customization, there it is all the way down here. And that's how you get user skins. Um, if you need any help with this, just uh, you can email me. I'll have my email linked in the uh, description below. So if you have any problems and you need to contact me, you can do that. Um, if there's anything you would like to see that I can help you with, I can do that. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.